Okay, so this is uh, the dis disassembly of the HP NV17S017CL. As you can see, the back is uh, is pretty seamless. So the first thing you want to do is we're gonna get it right into it. We're gonna take out the battery and pull out the screwdriver. Uh, some other guy in there selling some other crap about whatever. You don't need it. Just a uh, you know basically your islands small screwdriver set so you have like uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen face screws this one here will release this drive bay your see what it says there's a disc symbol there i don't know if you can see it but right there and that lets you know that uh, that lets you know that that releases this guy. Alright. So set that to the side. And I like to keep a little container, a pill bottle, or whatever for keeping my screws in. So that when I spill them, I lose them all at once. Okay. Alright, so we're going to go through disassembling this thing. And. You can skip forward if you want. I'm not going to go through some massive editing process to help you, but basically I'm just going to take it, these screws out. And I like to do them one at a time because if I flip this thing upside down and they're all loose, um, I got screws bouncing everywhere, so I do a more managed approach. Now, Here's a little trick um, in here. There's there's two more underneath the where you remove the battery. You'll see two more screws on each end of this, and that's paramount. You have to take those out because that little piece, this little foot right here, has to come off. And I don't like using magnetic screwdrivers on computers, but some say it's not a big deal. And I'd probably agree, but I'd rather not lose my my drive. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'm doing two at a time and risk of losing a screw. Okay. So now I take a flat screwdriver and I kind of try to, you got to get this under here and try to pry it. Less marring the better. So what I do is I stuck it in this hole and apply a little pressure to pull it up. It just snaps right out of there. Just like that. Snaps right out. Okay, so now you really re reveal two more, four actually screws that you gotta take off. Okay, so as you see there's no you didn't have to undo the foot. You didn't have to take the rubber foot off and there's nothing there's nothing under here. I've actually pulled it up and there's no screws underneath there. So um, the first time I did this I actually took that off but I put it back. There's nothing underneath it on this model. People put a towel down here, and that's probably pretty smart, but I just don't care. Okay, this is mine. I mean, if it wasn't mine, I'd care more. But just give me a reason to buy a new laptop. Shit. <laughs> you 
and I just go until I start hearing it pop. When you hear that plastic click sound, you know that you've reached the end of the screw. three at a time just because I know you're getting impatient. There's actually one there and here, and that's there was two extra screws, and this is the reason why I'm actually undoing this whole thing again. But while I'm at it, I figured I'd show you how to do it, and I felt one fall. See, that's why I don't do three. Found it. All right. These front ones you can actually undo without having to flip it over because of the, the beveling of the front allows you to just pull them right out. If you're wondering, yeah, I'm in my robe. Um, that's my work from home uniform, and that sucks. If you don't like it, watch somebody else's video. <laughs> okay, and there's the hat. Okay, so now we're ready. We pretty much have it. Um, so what you're gonna do? You gotta flip this baby open. Alright, and so now you have this seamless, and you want to get up in it, and it's going to start, oh shit. Uh, I don't break everything. Alright, so I'll lay it on its monitor side. What you're going to do is kind of bend it a little bit. Let me try to change this lighting a little bit so you can see. right here so you just you gotta be a little brave with it but don't be I mean don't break it break it but you need to be a little brave with it because it's it's a very thin line that goes around okay now I'll take this flathead screwdriver and start running Until it starts snapping. Come on, baby, you can do it. There. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of peeling the corner like like a rubber, rubber, but just like a rubber thing that goes over your iPhone or whatever. Um, so you're gonna peel this case off. And that didn't sound good. That's a little, a little rough. All right. All right. Now I'm getting it. Yeah.
gotta definitely take these out. God dang. Is there a screw on this or something? Uh yep, there is. Important. I did this the first time. Alright, these tabs right here. Um, what I do is I took a knife somewhere. Where's my other one? Here we go. Basically, yeah. remove it. Stick it somewhere. I'm gonna, after this, I'm going to throw it away because I don't want to make that same mistake again. But this is a <clears throat> cosmetic cover. It goes over these. Wherever. Oh, there it is. But I'm going to throw mine away. And you're free to put them back on as I did. But I don't want to rip the motherboard in half. If I ever need to take it apart and forget about it. So... You can order them from me for shipping, whatever. So you gotta take these out too. Yep. And now we should be freely to move. Okay, so that was it, and that's what I did the first time, uh, the other day it was put in an SSD drive, I downgraded it from a terabyte, it's 500, but it's like 20 times faster, so pff, I never use that much space on these anyways. Uh, unlike some other place that I found on the internet, is this model only has one drive bay. Um, this is a little tricky, I'm going to take it out just so that I can show you. Um, it, it's probably not that tricky if you know what you're doing, but these little things right here, when I took it apart the first time, they just fell off like that, and it was a, how in the hell do you get it back together? So I tried all different ways, and then you'll see these, and then you'll try to go here, but you want to do them on the side. You want to do them on the, uh, on the side, and they only fit one way, like that. And if you have these two, these uh, lips right here, if you have them on the same end, you know you're in the right place. And those fit right under here. And so, and you slide it in a little bit so that it fits. And you place it right back there. And slide that back on. And you're in business. If this pops out, no big, no, you know, there's no sweat, just this little piece pops up right here and it, you can pull it right out see so you just align this piece up so that it's inside there close that door and we're back in business and that's it you mean you're just to reassemble it if you have screws left over as I did you want to do it again until you get it right that's it